Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Sedina and I have never been more excited for anything in my life, okay? BTS dropped their first single for their new album today, like at 4 a.m. I was up, but I didn't well, listen to it or watch the video that came out with it, obviously, because I wanted to react to it. And I'm finally getting to it. Literally, this is the hardest thing ever. Like, not listening to this when it came out and getting all these notifications, it was so difficult <laughs> to not listen to it and watch the video. <laughs> But um, I'm so ready to get into this. So this is BTS Black Swan art film performed by MN Dance Company. Um, I'm probably going to watch this video twice in this reaction video. Um, one for, you, you know, to listen to the song itself and read the lyrics and one to see the dance because I used to be a dancer. I used to dance. <laughs> I still dance now but for fun like I don't take classes anymore but I always love watching dance videos it's literally I could spend hours doing that so <laughs> so I'm really excited to get into this I heard the song was so good my friends were all talking about it when it came out I I had to put my phone on do not disturb so that I wouldn't be tempted to go listen to it after like seeing what they were saying but yeah I'm so excited I have cookie with me JK <laughs> to watch this. I have something to hug and squeeze while I die inside. <sighs> okay, enough talking. Let's get straight into this. <laughs> Alright, start the video in three, two, one, play. I just, this video is five and a half minutes long. I'm not ready for this. <sighs> okay. Oh, I didn't do a big hit intro thing. I wasn't ready. A dancer does dies twice once when they stop dancing, and the, this first death is the mo most painful. More painful. I can't read. I'm sorry. I don't have my glasses on. <laughs> oh my god. I'm nervous. between this very like orchestral backgrounds and their singing is so interesting. Yeah. 
This song, this whole song gives off such like a an eerie feel, which makes sense, being called Black Swan. I love this like violin instrumental. Jeez. Oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, we're definitely watching that again. It's really so hard to read lyrics while there's a video playing. It's so hard to focus on it. So I'm gonna watch it again and focus on the dance and then I'm going to look up the lyrics afterwards um, and then talk about this. <laughs> All right, we're watching that again. All right, in three, two, one, play. Big hit. Entertainment. I dance or dies twice. Once when they stop dancing and this first death is the more painful. True! <laughs> so I thought when I stopped. Just like right when it, the song starts, you just get chills. Right now, right now. 
Cage made of light, that is such a cool scene. That move was like he he shouted like the lyrics and then they all went back. That ending scene is so pretty. <sighs> okay, so I just read the lyrics, and this song seems to be about losing one's passion, I believe, which makes sense with the quote that was in the beginning. That makes a lot of sense now because they're pretty much saying um, they don't really feel a passion for their craft anymore. They um, they just don't get the same feeling that they got when they started it. Um, and they're kind of saying like, if that's how I'm feeling, then this is probably the, the first time I die. Um, when I no longer feel joy and, and um, happiness doing what I loved. And like, what a message. I think that's something we all can relate to at some point in our lives. The lyrical content of this song is beautiful, of course. It's BTS. They always talk about this stuff. And it's so, it's so interesting to see them talk about this because, you know, we're so used to them talking about... Um, well, I mean, I guess it's not completely different because it's still in some way talking about dreams and what you want to do in life and stuff like that. It's just this 
time it's taking a darker route to talk about it so like in previous songs they would say oh it's okay not to have a dream it's okay um, you know work hard towards your dream if you have one but if you don't it's okay and in this one they're like yeah we had a dream we have a dream but it's like it's hard to work towards that when sometimes you lose the original feeling that you had about it. <laughs> you kind of forget why, you forget the feeling that made you enjoy doing this so much. So it's very, it's very interesting seeing them take this darker approach, but I actually really, really like it. It's a new side to BTS that I'm happy they are showing us. Um, and about the video, MN Dance Company, amazing. They just perfectly embod- like every move that they made from the beginning of the video, it very much embodied the movement of a swan and a black swan because usually, you know, the, the swans, um, their movements are very, very pretty, very graceful. Their movements were graceful, just like a swan, but they're, you know, they're representing a black swan. So they had very sharp edges. Their their wrists were like this the whole time. They um, their way of moving seemed very rigid at times, and I feel like they did very well in representing a black swan and representing the lyrical content of the song. Um, so. A round of applause to them. They did amazing. I am so interested that BTS are taking this very art inclusive approach to their comeback, if you can call it that. I don't know. I don't know her, like the correct wording for it, but they are very much expanding on this whole idea of art. Um, and that is seen in their whole exhibition, exhibit thing that they're doing, um, the BTS Connect in all the different cities with the art exhibits. Um, and even with this, they're, they're doing art films instead of like releasing music videos, which I find so interesting and I actually really, really like. Um, like through their music, they're finding a way to spread other types of art. Um, and I really, really like that. So I'm glad that they're using this opportunity to kind of put other art forms into the spotlight. I really, really appreciate them for that. <laughs> I really did like the song though. It's different and I'm glad that they're kind of going outside of the box with their art styles. They always show us something different. It's always it's always great looking forward to BTS's new music because you know that they're not gonna you know that it's going to be different and you know that it's going to be like a mixture of different styles because they always love to try new things and I really really enjoy that about them that's why they're my favorite K-pop artist they really aren't afraid to explore different genres of music and you know really make it their own and this is a perfect example of that and like this isn't even a, the title track this is just one of the singles from the album like I'm so excited to hear the other the other songs and to see what this album will be like as a complete thing. <sighs> BTS back at it again. I really really enjoyed this. I actually really like the song. I didn't know what to expect going into this, but it's so good and the fact that they had a whole dance performance for with it just made it the it made the experience just so much better and uh, I really enjoyed that. Oh, I'm so excited to like go on Twitter and see what people are saying about this now because I've been avoiding it all morning, obviously because I didn't want to be spoiled. So I'm so excited to see what other people are saying about it um, and seeing what my friends are saying about it because I haven't talked to them this whole morning <laughs> trying not to get spoiled. But uh, that was so good. But yeah, that is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below other videos you'd like me to react to. And if you want to see more, subscribe to my channel. And I'll see you guys next video. Bye!